sometimes all this we have asked him through Jesus Christ our Lord. Um, do we all have a, a program? Because everything we are going to do the same is in the program. At this point, uh, we are going to take our in our name. Okay. 87 years. A loan of 87 years. So we have to be very grateful to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Let us take our next hymn. It's on page. Stands from page five. Oh Lord, my God, when I in us some wonder. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, once again we thank you. We thank you for your presence here this evening. Yes, we can feel your angels around here. We thank you for letting your angels come and join us in this service, Lord Almighty. We thank you for your words. That we had in this evening. We thank yes. you for the prayer. Four months after my current departure, a month followed. So please remember us in your prayers. My, mo my mother was born on, uh, on the 25th of uh, August, 1932, to Mr. and Mrs. Mosu of Umuekikachi, uh, Kindred of Umiu. Village in Ogutu, Imo State. Her parents had 11 children. Eight died when they were infants. Three grew up adults. My mom was the last, you know, to be called to glory. She had 12 of us, three deceased, and uh, nine are living. She had only elementary school education, but her IQ was better than most of her peers when it relates to Uguta traditional and cultural history. Ma was a very religious person, despite the fact that she lived the better part of her life during the time. Most of her contemporaries worshiped different gods. She always believed in God of the Israelites. She distanced herself from idol worshipers. She was so she saw, saw it as being ignorant. She personally doubt, questioned you know, the ability of what a wonder, what a wooden God could do to help solve a problem. My mom, will, my mom left uh, a unique legacy that will always check me. Uh, and so tonight we are going to entreat the message of God on behalf of this family. Now the Bible said that affliction will not repeat itself a second time. Now, what we have had so much is enough. What we have had so much is enough. And we have been given authority to stand against activities of hell. And so tonight, you are going to join me. We are going to pray for this family. We are going to entreat the message of God for divine protection. Outside divine protection, we are going to pray that activities of death will never be recorded again. Amen. Somebody, you are not saying amen to that. Amen. I say you are not saying amen to that. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that Christ has abolished death. Amen. To abolish is to bring an institution to an end. Amen. So tonight, please, as we are going to pray for this family, one thing we are going to ask for God is for mercy. Someone say mercy. mercy. Let the mercy of God uphold them. Let the mercy of God direct them. Let the mercy of God keep them on their way. As they go for this barrier, there will not be any sad story. There will not be any sad news. They are going and they are coming back safely. There will not be any evil in their pathway. Can somebody lift up your voice and begin to talk to God concerning this family? I'd like you to join me and begin to pray for them. Pray that the mercy of God will envelop them. Please open up your mouth. In the way God will hear you, pray. Pray that God will uphold them. In his mercy that God will guide them. In his mercy that God will not allow any evil to come. In his mercy that God will protect them.
Lord, we entreat your mercy tonight. Lord, we entreat your mercy tonight. Lord, we entreat your mercy tonight. Father, we entreat your mercy tonight. Lord, we entreat your mercy tonight. Lord, you are all about mercy. You are all about love. So, Lord, we entreat your mercy. Wherever your mercy is made manifest, there is no sin and there is no evil. And so, Heavenly Father, we entreat your mercy tonight on behalf of the Evie family. Father, we entreat your mercy. Let your mercy envelop every one of them. Let your mercy overshadow every one of them. In your mercy tonight, Father, we stand against every activities of the hell. We stand against every activities of the enemy. Lord, every demonic order has been raised up against them in any quarter. We come against these altars. We destroy the oppressors of these altars. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we are said and he came to give where the Lord has more